Coach, I hope you've had a great week. Welcome into the game here in Tuscaloosa. Well, thank you. It's good to be with you. Coach, you, you've been a major topic uh, throughout the Southeast uh, this week, uh, talking about the Auburns uh, that you would like to see them move to the SEC East. Uh, I'd love to love to hear some of your thoughts on this. Well, it, you know, it just makes sense to uh, Missouri to be in the West and Auburn to be in the East. It never made any sense when they did it the first time. And, uh, you know, they did it so that Alabama could keep their rivalry with Tennessee. And uh, we had a rivalry with Tennessee and Florida that we lost. We only kept the one with, jo- with Georgia. And, uh, but, and you're, you're referring yeah. to 1992, Coach, is that right? Yeah. The, uh, our student body comes from the state of Alabama, Georgia, Florida, and Tennessee. We got a ton of students that come from Nashville and Tennessee. And the same thing Atlanta and and, uh, and all over Florida. And uh, I would say that Missouri didn't have 100 students from those two states that are in the East. Missouri doesn't even touch a state that's in the East. And, uh, you know, the hardship on... on Missouri's travel fans, players, and the parents. You got it's, it's got to be a three day trip to go to the East and watch a football game. One day to travel, one day for the game, and one day to travel home. And, uh, and you know, I think we'd go to nine games and be easy. You know, everybody, everybody would be happy except the ones that don't want to play nine games. And, uh, Coach Saban has been an advocate of playing nine games from the very beginning. And uh, the only argument I've heard is that you give every team in the conference another loss, or you give seven teams another loss. Well, if you can't win three games in the conference and three out of the conference, then you really don't deserve to go to a ball game. So, no, that's fair. Yeah. I, I agree with you there. Uh, Coach, when you when you look at this Alabama Auburn rivalry, I, I think it's the most important game in, in college football. I, you've been a part well, of it. I, mean, I don't think I, I have do to. Too. I don't want to. I don't want to give up the. I don't want to give up the, the game. And if we went to nine games, we wouldn't have to. We could play Alabama, Mississippi State as traditional games, and have one game played among five teams. And then you'd have two on campus one year. And they're on campus the next year. No? Yeah, that's right. And, uh, and Missouri wouldn't be under such a hardship that they're under now. And we would be in our geographical area. We don't recruit any students from Louisiana and Arkansas and Texas and Mississippi. Uh, with our our alumni and student right in, and, and uh, the Auburn, the Auburn family is in the southeast part, which would be t- we have. Like I said, we have a ton of students and alumni in Nashville. Same thing in Atlanta. Same thing in Florida. And the number one out of state student when I was coaching at Auburn was girls from Florida coming to coming to Auburn. No. Well, it, it, well, co- not, it, it wouldn't be so difficult. Just go to nine games and, and play it and do it. Well, well do let me have, ask you. Don't, do you have any sympathy for Missouri? Any? Well, Coach, I, to be honest with you, I think Missouri is an awful fit in the SEC as a, as a, as well, a program. Right, that, that, that they have no- right, right, right. They're in the conference. I know they are. They are in the conference. And you don't have any sympathy for them. I do with the travel. They have, and, and, to, they have to. Their fans have to go to Columbia, South Carolina, Knoxville, Tennessee, which is on the west, uh, east part of the state. Athens, Gainesville. Those are, those are horrendous trips for the fans to have to travel. And no, that, going that's to, they could be going to Oxford. And, Dartmouth and Tuscaloosa and 
Fayetteville, Arkansas, and College Station, Texas. Well, Coach, let me ask you this. When you – and, I mean, I know how we react, and we, we've had a ton of both Alabama and Auburn callers the last couple of days. Had a lot of Auburn callers that went back and – Help me understand. I mean, you got to remember. I mean, I'm I'm down in my teens in 1992. I was born in 78. So I was 14, and and he talked about. You know, he said, "You look at Nashville." He said, "They're further west than Auburn is." He said, "When you look back at 1992, he said they should have put Vanderbilt uh, in the SEC West." He said, "But but help us understand how that conference alignment." I, I know you talked about it earlier, but in 1992. I mean, did, did coaches have a role? Did, did, did this discussion come up? How, how did this you know, sort of work know. through? I don't, I, from what I understand, it all centers around Tennessee and Auburn keeping that rivalry. Okay. Well, and let me Tennessee go to this. Probably, Tennessee probably would like to get out of that right now. <laughs> yeah, they probably would. It's been 3,870 days since Tennessee last beat Alabama. Um, how, many, how many? How many years is that? You got to calculate. It's uh, last time they beat Alabama was in two thousand six. That's eleven years. No, no sir. It's uh, uh, ten. Ten. Yeah, that they they beat uh, Mike Shula his last year, October twenty first, two thousand six, and they have not beat Nick Saban. So going into the eleventh year. Wait, as long as they stay the same as they are then, it'd be another 11 years. <laughs> yeah, it may be. Um, but, Coach, let me ask you, when when you look at the possibility, let me ask you if you think it's feasible to moving. I mean, do you think people are going to – because this, this conversation is not a new conversation. We, we heard it last year uh, right before we went to the SEC spring meetings – do you think people are listening? Do you, you think it's even a possibility? All I, all I know is if you can take one match and strike it, then it'll start a fair fight. Sure you can. And, uh, look, Ryan, I grew up in Georgia, and I've been involved in the SEC since the late 40s. Played in Georgia. Coached at Alabama. Been it all for now for 35 years, 36 years. And I've played in every arena against every team in the conference. We played Texas A&M in the, in the Cotton Bowl. I played against Missouri in the Orange Bowl in 1960. I know, I know about every one of them. And I know about this conference, and I love this conference. And look, what I'm talking about is not going is not going to it, the conference is going to survive regardless because of the, the love and the passion that people have down here, and and uh, that is still it still could what I'm talking about. It would give us it would give us Florida, Georgia, and Tennessee that we played every year, every year the twelve years that I was coaching, we played them every year plus Alabama. Now, that's a pretty good chore. And, uh, and we played MSU three times. We didn't play them every year. We didn't play Old Miss every year. We played Mississippi State every year. And after, uh, I, I think we played Arkansas. Well, we played Arkansas in the Liberty Bowl. And then we played Arkansas one time in Auburn in 92, I think it was. And... Uh, uh, well, co- Coach, let me I, go back I, to this. I, I, let, me, let, me, let me say this, Ryan. I know recruiting has changed. But forever, you know, Georgia has been recruited like in-state and recruited like in-state. We, everybody goes into Florida. And, it, you know, and we've had a number of kids that come from Tennessee. You know, as far as players and prospects are concerned, and uh, I'm just talking about something that was an opponent. Now, and, and I don't think it would affect Alabama. 
and I don't think it would affect LSU or any of the other teams in the West. In the East, you know, I can tell you right up front that the coaches at Georgia don't want it to happen. The coaches at Florida don't want it to happen. The coaches at South Carolina don't want it to happen. The coaches at Tennessee don't want it to happen. Why is that? Well, competition. They don't care. They don't care about the money it costs Missouri to travel, to the extent that they have to travel. You know, they they only play one game like that. Missouri's got to play three or four years on those across the state, across the whole southeast, to play a football game, and the fans can't travel. The players' parents can't travel, and. Uh, it's, it's, I mean, that's just the way it is. Well, let's go back to this ninth conference game, Coach, because Nick Saban, as you talked about, has advocated for. Well, you could play. Uh, you can play. A, you could play two non uh, play a uh, named opponent as, as one of the three, and have two you can win. Some of those teams that you played that you can win, they got pretty good. Well, the, the ninth yeah, conference game, I think, would be an awesome discussion, but uh, it doesn't seem to be picking up with any of the coaches. I mean, I think a couple of years ago, there might have been one other coach that had, that had talked about nine conference games. I know Nick Saban has, has talked about it for several years, but it really hasn't picked up a lot of traction. It might next week at the SEC spring meetings, but uh, – what would be the, the, the selling pitch to, to these nine conference games? I mean, obviously, the fans would love it. I mean, I'd love to see another SEC well, game. Uh, rather let's, than... let's, let's, let's just be honest about what we're talking about here. Alabama sells out of season tickets every year, don't they? Yes, sir. We do it Auburn. They do it Florida. They do it Georgia. They do it South Carolina. But when we play Louisiana Lafayette, and Georgia, Alabama and Georgia and Florida and Tennessee, Plato School, there's a lot of empty seats in that state. It's, it's advertised, and you tell you it's a sold, it's sold, the game is sold out. And it is sold out. So they're going to buy those tickets for the big games that they got. They just sacrifice that money. But they don't come to the game. They might give them somebody to come. Well, Coach, you know, you think about the perception of the SEC, and, you know, I do think that at some point they need to address this with this college football playoff ranking. It has not cost an SEC team yet, but when you look back at that, you know, the week prior to Auburn, you know, Alabama played Chattanooga. I think this year they played Mercer. Uh, I know Auburn plays Mercer too. Uh, they're, they're, Alabama has no business in playing Mercer. I mean, there's. I mean, it's boring for the fans. It's. it's there's well, no entertainment you know value. Hey, let me tell you why they play Mercer. Both of them. They play Mercer because they can get them cheaper than anybody else to come play. The ticket prices are the same. Now, they sure. may not be the same as all an Alabama game or, a, a, you know, a big conference game. But the ticket prices are the same, and they and they and they and they sell it out. But the fan, the stands are not going to be full when we play Marshall, and they're not going to be full when Alabama plays Marshall. And on top of that, you got an easy win, one that you don't that you can rest people, you can get them well, you can hold them out, and, and there's a lot of benefit in playing a Marshall, or as your football team is concerned. One of the problems that we had playing Florida over the years when I was coaching is that they would play a Mercer or a Cincinnati or somebody like that. And then they would have an open date the week before they played us. And then they had three weeks to get that team rested and fresh and well and healthy before we played them. And Florida's the only team in the conference that I didn't have one record against. We played two down there that we should have won and and uh, didn't. I mean, they were they were walk off games. Both of them. 
Well, Coach, I, I look forward to sort of seeing what this discussion, because I think uh, you you brought it up, and, and I think a lot of people are, are discussing it. Just, just like I said, does anybody care about Missouri? They're, they're uh, one of the teams. If it's Mississippi State or, or Ole Miss or Vanderbilt or Kentucky, it had the same problem. I feel the same way. But it's, it's ridiculous to, to think that it's a that it's a good geographical fit. All you got to do is set a map down and look at it. And not, and not only that, it's the student body. Where does your students come from? You think Missouri's got any students from Georgia and South Carolina and Florida and Tennessee? No. I bet they don't have 100 students combined from those four states. Yeah, you're probably right. Well, well Coach, let me ask well, you this. You and- know, that's, the way, that's how you be a rivalry. We played, we played Georgia. We've been playing Georgia since 1892. And and uh, playing them every year in the, from a geographical standpoint, and and Florida, you know Georgia Tech wouldn't come here and play, Tennessee wouldn't come here and play, Alabama wouldn't come here and play. Now they all come, but it took years for them to to come to Auburn to play football. We had to go to that place to play, and had to play Tennessee in Birmingham. Well, they would not come to Auburn. And when we went to 72,000 seats back in the 70s or 60s, one of it was Coach Jordan was coaching. They started coming to Auburn. And, uh, but, and then it took, you know, it was 89 before Alabama came. Coaches, walk, walk us through that process because, I mean, for all of us that, don't remember, you know, Alabama and Auburn playing at Legion Field every year, but how did that process go down? I mean, did did you guys just put your foot down and say, Alabama, you got to come no, here? Was, how, it, how did it that? Was our, it was our home game. We can pick and choose where we play our home game. We chose to play it at Auburn. We had more seats at Auburn than they had in in uh, in Birmingham or Tuscaloosa at the time. But but going going back to Legion Field, I don't know this. If it was your home game, would you make more money, or was it more of a 50-50 split well, every yeah, single we'd year? Make, we'd make more money. And all of the concessions, all of the, the people working in the parking lot and people working in the concession stands wouldn't be wearing Alabama hats. Or our home game. Because Alabama played it. Now, it took Alabama several years to get an advantage in playing at Tuscaloosa because they were used to playing all of the big games in, in Birmingham. Sure. And, and uh, we, you know, and, and even the Auburn game, we've had as much success playing in Tuscaloosa as we have Auburn with Alabama. But, uh, Well, well coach, too much success anyway, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, hey, coach, what's what, what's on the uh, the menu this weekend? Are you going to be cooking a lot of barbecue? Yeah, I'm, I am. Uh, I'll be going up to the lake. My son's up there. Okay. Well, I saw you had Brett Favre and uh, Lance Armstrong down to the farm a couple of days yeah, ago. They came down. They came down and rode in Bow Back, Alabama. Oh yeah, sure. And, uh, you know, he had over a thousand people riding in that back of And, uh, so, I mean, it's a, he's raised a lot of money for Yes, he has. Alabama, yes, he has. For the, for the state. I think he's well over a million dollars now. And tornado, tornado victims, building shelters and doing whatever. And, uh, You, let me ask you this: Just reverse the tables on this Auburn on the on the 
If you were at Auburn, would you not want to be in the East? Under the circumstances that I've laid out there for you, where our students come from, where our recruiting base is. Well, and Coach, let me ask you this, and you tell me if this is fair. I think a lot of people perceive this uh, as Auburn running from Alabama. Is that fair? Hell no. You think I'm scared of playing Alabama? Right. We need no, to play I... Alabama. We need to play Alabama. It hurt. When we didn't play for 40 years, it didn't hurt Alabama. It hurt Auburn. We need to play them. Well, but but I guess you can understand the perception is is that I don't care I th- what the perception is. I'm talking about what reality is. No, but I, I do understand your argument. There's no doubt. I mean, I, I do. I mean, listen, Missouri fans, and maybe that's one of the reasons why they've never connected with the SEC. I mean, I see them as, you know. And maybe if they could build some natural rivalries, maybe that would increase. Because you go to, you go to Missouri, and it, it just doesn't fit in. The SEC, the passion is just not there. And maybe if you could create some of those rivalries, well, that I know, been... I know, I know, Missouri recruits heavily in Texas, and and uh, I don't know how much they go into Arkansas. And, and uh, you know, they may not recruit in Louisiana or Mississippi. They, I, I, I never heard of coaches coming down in our area from Missouri recruiting. Oh, I don't think they – yeah, I don't think they sign. As you said, I think you're absolutely correct. I bet there's not 100 students that go to that campus yet. No, oh, but then don't you, think it, don't you think it would mean something? Don't you think it would mean something for, to the student body? If they could go home and, uh, or, or if they were from Texas or from uh, Arkansas or, or surrounding state and play a game where they got friends, I mean, that's, what, that's how rivalry is built. And, oh, there, uh, no doubt. Well, Coach, and, i got to run the right, break. And uh, right, and right, and right now, we, you know, we've lost two of our biggest rivalries and biggest games in Tennessee and Florida. It's just as big. It's just as our game with Tennessee is. It might not be as big to Tennessee, but playing Tennessee was just as big as as Alabama playing Tennessee. I mean, in the uh, both of those schools have great football tradition, and like I said, Tennessee's been on the downslide for the past two years and all, and this and it hadn't and. It's still a big game, though, you know, because of the fans that are my age and younger and realize what it is. You know, it's a big game. If you won that game, you chance going to win the conference pretty good. And that was back before the national championship. It's picked like it is now. 